Today we are going to find the output voltage levels of this Schmidt trigger circuit and determine the upper and lower trigger points. To begin, let's assume the output of the op amp is at a negative high. This is because we don't know the initial state of the output. A negative high at the output will push the diode D1 in reverse bias and D2 in forward bias. Therefore, the voltage across both diodes will be Now let's assume the op amp output is at a positive high. This will push D1 in forward bias and D2 in reverse bias. So the voltage across the diode will be limited as the following. Now we can assume both inverting and non-inverting terminals are at the same potential. Because the op amp has a very large gain and there is a feedback from the output terminal to the both input terminals. Therefore, as you can see here, the voltage across the diodes is the same as the voltage across 10 kilo ohm resistor. So we can write Also the current flowing through the 10 kilo ohm resistor will be Now since the op amp has a very large input resistance, we can neglect the current flowing through the op amp input terminals and assume the same current flowing through the resistor R3 will follow through the resistor R2. So we can write IR3 equals IR2. Therefore we can calculate the voltage across the resistor R2. and the output voltage is also limited between the following levels. By the way, if you like what you are watching, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. This will really help the channel to grow and encourage me to continue creating more and better content. As you can see here, the voltage across the resistor R2 is the same as the voltage at the non-inverting terminal. This voltage is called the trigger point which can determine the state of the output. For example, any voltage greater than positive 3.3 volt at the inverting terminal will push the op amp output to swing to its negative high but will be limited at the minus 5.55 volt. And the output won't change this state until the inverting terminal gets to the minus 1.85 volt or less which then the output voltage will swing to the positive high and will be limited at a positive 10.05 volts. Then the output state won't change until the inverting input gets to the positive 3.35 volt or higher again. So the trigger points will be
and here is the output voltage versus input trigger signal. As you can see in this diagram, 3.35 volt is the upper limit point and minus 1.85 is the lower limit point. These points are voltages at the non-inverting terminal. So whenever the input signal at the inverting terminal reaches to these points, then the output will change its state and voltage will be limited either at 10.05 volt or at minus 5.55 volt as we discussed in this video.